Yes, it is a rather quiet JSE building, but Richard, thank you very much for your time. According to the AdCorp Employment Index released earlier today, we did see a sharp decline in employment rates for the month of May by some 6.2%. Now, the construction sector was the hardest hit by that survey. Can the decline be attributed mainly to the World Cup effect now that the construction and infrastructure spend has been completed? Yeah, certainly we saw the conclusion of a lot of infrastructural projects that were related to the World Cup. And uh, if you look at a lot of the workers on those projects, uh, their contracts came to an end. So yes, we saw a massive amount of people coming off those contracts. Um, just in, in total, South Africa lost about 60,000 jobs last month. Um, not only was the construction sector hit, though, also the trade sector was hit. Now, there are different reasons for that, and uh, you know, I think what it shows is that there's a lack of confidence uh, as far as the consumer is concerned, and that, that is worrying. Um, so, yeah, I think different reasons for, for why we're seeing that drop off in employment. And in your opinion, when can we see employment rates picking up within the construction, given that government has committed to spend 787 billion rand on public infrastructure over the next three years? Yeah, yeah look, I think that we've got to be positive that a lot of those people that were demobilized post the World Cup project will be caught up in other projects. We're seeing massive expansion in places like Eskom and the like. And I think importantly, there were no doubt skills developed uh, on those projects during the World Cup. So I think the, the likelihood of some of those people being, being picked up in future projects is quite high. When it's going to happen, we're not sure, but there are other sectors, I think, that are concerning. The manufacturing sector continues to shed jobs, and I think that's just a lack of confidence uh, and also concerns about the, the cost of employment and the reliability of employment. We're in a very hostile environment as far as employment is concerned at the moment. Very high wage inflation. You've seen the demands recently by the unions. We've seen a lot of uh, strike action from the unions, and it's no doubt putting people off employment. Mm -hmm. And with temporary positions being created around the World Cup, do you think there's going to be any other impact on the labor market from the World Cup that may be a legacy effect of the World Cup, perhaps? Yeah, I think, you know, my view is that any job is better than no job. So even though a lot of the jobs that are created uh, over the five, six week period of the World Cup are temporary in nature, um, the skills that have developed, there's a work ethic, a work readiness. So definitely some of those people do get pulled into the, the, the greater market. And then there's an argument that the tourism industry should benefit in the longer term. So no doubt it is a positive um, for our country. And you know, unemployment is at crisis levels in our country. It's 25% is the official employment rate, unemployment rate. We think it's higher than that. Any contribution is better than no contribution. An interesting observation to make from this survey was the number of South African job seekers returning from abroad. Given the poor labor market in English-speaking countries such as the US and the UK, the number of returnees is actually expected to rise. How significant is this additional source of job seekers in terms of the broader labor market? Yeah, we, we estimate in the last year about 39,000 South Africans returned, which represents about 13% of those that left to seek work in other countries over the, the last sort of 20 years. So it's quite a significant number returning, and the reasons, as you cite, uh, is, is unemployment in other countries. But I think it's a positive thing. I mean, typically the people that uh, are mobile are those with skills. So with those people coming into this market, we need those skills. If you look at unemployment rates amongst skilled people, uh, it's particularly low even by international standards. So there's no doubt that that's positive for our economy. The recovery in economies across the globe has not corresponded with a decline in the unemployment rates in those various economies. The sustainability of a jobless recovery is very topical at the moment. Within that context, with South Africa showing a GDP growth rate for the first quarter of 4.6%, but the unemployment, con unemployment rate continues to tick up, as you mentioned, now at 25.2%. How sustainable do you think our economy is, the recovery in our economy is, based on the fact that unemployment continues to rise. Yeah, look, and it's, a, it's a huge drain on the economy, unemployment. It's a, it's a vicious cycle. But, um, you know, employment typically does tend to lag the economic cycle, and that is, is, is what has happened historically. So hopefully we will see some pickup in, in, in employment uh, as the economy grows. But I think there are a whole lot of other factors that are mitigating against employment, and, and that concerns me. But one of the, the features of the recession that we recently experienced is quite interesting, is if you look at the recession that South Africa experienced, it was quite shallow by comparison to our international counterparts. And yet unemployment fell off the edge of a cliff. We lost about a million jobs last year, or roughly about 45% of the jobs that we created over the last 10 years were lost in, in a 12-month period, and that's very concerning. And I think we need to look at the root causes for that. 
And there's no doubt that I think tough labor legislation, I think militancy within the union movement needs to be looked at. But I think everybody must shoulder some of the responsibility for this, and I think people need to bury their parochial hatchets, be it government, be it business, be it uh, labor. And uh, we need to tackle this problem head on. It's a major problem.